Along Polly's Island, two dozen groins line the beach. Originally built in 1950, the walls of wood and rock are structures the mayor says are crucial to maintaining their town. These groins have helped stabilize the beaches and protect Polly's Island through Hurricane Hazel and Hurricane Hugo. Uh, they're still here and they're still doing their job of protecting the, the island. In fact, Otis says the physical proof of their effectiveness is in plain sight. Stairs from these homes have been extended farther out to meet the shore since the groins were improved 13 years ago. Uh, where we're standing, the dune line has moved 75 feet toward the ocean and a whole new dune line has been created. But with every solution, there's a drawback. For groins, it's called downdrift erosion. The currents are going to move what they can move, and you can obstruct it locally and, and trap some, but it's going to excavate on the other side to make up the difference. So you kind of push the problem around. Otis says their groins have not prevented sand from building up on the south end of the island. So if downdrift erosion is in fact that significant an issue, then certainly at least one or more groins might have been required to be removed, but they haven't.